bring back Robin Dreek, though, retired FBI agent. Uh, what do you read into, I guess, maybe more of what the sheriff did not share about what happened here this morning? So some key things that he shared I, I thought were interesting. First of all, his demeanor, it, w it was calm, like we've been talking about, but he also seemed a little rattled. So the, the, the injuries obviously are concerning. So let's keep our thoughts and prayers uh, to those individuals. Interesting, he did bring up um, with the question asked uh, that a lot of people and students weren't in the building yet. So it's it's that that's an interesting fact that when we learn who the shooter was, um, we'll probably play into this. The fact that everyone is reunited already um, shows that they're pretty they're very confident, 100 percent confident. Sounds like that the threat is completely gone, which is also important. So it sounds like they have a lot of information about who this is and maybe some motivations behind it. Again, he didn't say if the shooter is alive or dead and if arrests have been made, but he also mentioned that it took seven minutes for the first offer to officer to arrive. This is a rural area. There aren't a lot of law enforcement, especially if you're talking about a sheriff's department. They cover a wide area. What does that say to you that seven minutes from the first time the call came in? Really good. Um, it's also interesting. I'm not quite sure what time the school resource officer sh shows up, so I'm not sure if it's if it was the school resource officer that showed up or another uh, first responder that got on scene that rapidly. But again, as we've been saying, really rapid response. Um, luckily, it wasn't worse because it wasn't later in the day, and which that's that's a very interesting fact to me is that it happened before the doors actually open. Well, they were opened, obviously, but before the students actually started arriving in, in full force. That's interesting. Talk about evidence gathering, I and mean, there's going to be cameras. There are witnesses to this. Um, those who were involved or those who saw it happen. How law enforcement will work together and coordinate to gather as much as they can now moving forward that they can publicly share shortly. Yeah, it's going to be the evidence of obviously everything that took place on scene. But as we've seen in a lot of these cases, unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of social media gathering at this point as well. Any signs ahead of time, any social media postings that were missed potentially so they can make it hopefully not happen in the future by taking a good look after the fact of what was posted or not posted because that's all part of the evidence gathering luckily it seems like a, a small it is a small community but luckily um good relationship that looks between all these agencies and organizations to conduct all the interviews that need to take place as well yeah about 700 or so students at this school alone the adjacent middle school and then uh, only about 8,000 people in the community in all how much better are police getting at responding to this sadly because they've had to do it time and time again, Robin. It seems really good, um, which is good because when you, and I hate using the word harden a target, it doesn't, it, it makes it so the people that are committing these crimes don't want to go there. And as you mentioned with your own kids in high school earlier, Marnie, you know, they're used to these kind of drills that they kind of get these reps in that we need to keep things in a problem solving mode because as we saw this quick response early response lots of people on scene and the calmness in which it was executed was really really a good sign that we're really getting unfortunately good at this which hopefully will lead to preventing this because when you have someone out there in the public right now that has that kind of rage and and, and horrible thoughts in their mind mind they're saying to themselves i don't want to do it here in these types of places because i won't get away with it and so hopefully that's what we're getting from this um, this training that we're all getting yeah unfortunately um it can happen anywhere to anyone at any time. It doesn't make it any easier when you become no. the victim and it happens in your community. Robin Dreek, uh, thank you for your time and perspective on this as we monitor and wait for more information. We sure do appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.